Hey folks, Prepper Princess. So today I'm gonna to talk about a very important subject. A lot of people go over their monthly finances and they don't really realize where they can cut costs. The little things add up to big things and the big things add up to really big things. So this is how you can save thousands of dollars uh, over the course of a year. And I'm just gonna show you some very small adjustments that you can make in order to make it happen. Here you go. Okay, folks, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's first off start with credit cards. So the average interest rate for a credit card is 19.24%. That's just an average. Okay, let's assume that you have $10,000 worth of credit card debt. I hope you can appreciate the chicken. And you're, you have a goal to pay off your credit card in one year. So with a credit card interest rate of 19.24%, four percent you're going to be paying 922 dollars a month so let's say you call up your credit card company and you say if you don't give me 15 percent i'm going to take my business elsewhere and you can do a zero percent balance transfer let's assume that you're not really going to do the balance transfer and you're looking for a lower credit card interest rate and it brings it down to 15 percent if you still have the goal of paying it off a year that brings your bill from 922 dollars down to 902 that's 20 dollars a month $20 a month over 12 months is $600. $600, you just saved by making a 10 minute phone call, okay? You just saved that much money per month, all right? So let's get into um, auto insurance. So let's, I've got my reference over here. The average auto insurance rate is hold on a second here okay average car insurance per year is fourteen hundred and twenty six dollars so we're doing a little bit of rounding so let's bring it down to fourteen hundred in my opinion that is highway robbery i pay about three hundred dollars per year i do have liability only so let's assume that you've got a good driving record all right and you've got a fourteen hundred dollar a year bill on your car insurance you make a quick 10 minute phone call to the car insurance company and you're able to bring it down to let's say very conservatively twelve hundred dollars per year you just saved yourself two hundred dollars by making a five minute phone call all right, so let's go on to another one. Let's say for toiletries, you've got uh, toilet paper, shampoo, toothpaste, conditioner, um, any other sort of stuff that you use. Let's say conservatively that you're spending $100 per month. Now remember this adds up and you have to go over all of your monthly bills, but let's say that you spend $100 per month and you, uh, are, you decide, okay, I'm gonna add water to my shampoo and my laundry detergent. Um, I'm going to use half the amount of laundry detergent that the bottle recommends and I'm still gonna get my clothes clean. And you bring it from $100 a month down to $50 per month, okay? You just saved yourself $600. Very easy. You start making your own, you start adding water and you start using up what you've already got. Let's say clothing. All right, so let's say that you don't spend a lot on clothes. All right, you spend, you buy maybe one or two t-shirts every month, uh, maybe a pair of pants, and you spend $50 a month on clothing. So let's say uh, you start patching up what you've already got, uh, you start mixing and matching, and you take your monthly bill from $50 down to $30 a month, okay? You just saved yourself $20 a month just by shopping differently. You start going to thrift stores. $20 a month over 12 months, how much is that? That's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. $240. So I can't really do a $40, so I'm just gonna put down 200 bucks. You just saved yourself $200. Let's go over food. Okay, food is one of the biggest costs that Americans pay for. And the thing is, is that it is also one of the one of the bills that we have that can be easily changed. Uh, so let's say that you decide to stop eating out. And by the way, eating out does not just mean a sit down dinner. This is also drive throughs uh, in convenience foods. This is, this is Taco Bell, McDonald's, uh, Burger King, Wendy's, Sonic. It's all of these convenience foods that we don't associate with dining out 
because it's a drive through So most people don't associate that same thing. They don't think that their Taco Bell order is dining out when in fact it is. So let's say you completely cut that out, all right? You completely cut out that, and you're usually spending $100 a month on eating out. That is far below average, okay? But let's say you're spending $100 a month, and you decide to not eat out for a full year. So that's gonna save you $1,200. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, twelve hundred dollars that you just saved by stop by stopping your Starbucks and your Taco Bell and your Burger King. That is a huge amount of money. Let's take it a step further. Let's say you spend three hundred dollars a month on your family, all right? You've got a family and you only eat at home, all right? And you spend $300 a month and you decide, okay, I'm gonna shop bulk, I'm gonna shop the sales, and you take your monthly bill from $300 down to $200 a month. Well, you just saved yourself another $1,200. It's starting to add up. This pile's getting a lot bigger, isn't it? Yep, sure is. All right, so let's go over your cell phone. So most people have plans that are ranging in the 100 to $140 range. All right, so let's say that you cut it down to the absolute basics, okay? You still have your unlimited text and calling and you still have a little bit of data. So let's say that you know, you know once you hit the maximum amount of data, uh, you, you start running on the slower speed. Not really a big deal for you. So you bring your bill from $100 a month down to $50 a month. Okay, you just saved yourself. That's just by making a phone call. Remember, it's just making a phone call to the cell phone company to see how you can reduce your bill. And you just saved yourself $600 by making a phone call. Negotiation, folks. I cannot even tell you how simple it is to negotiate when you threaten to take your business elsewhere. Okay, so most of us don't have cable, but some of us do. I do not have any negative effects towards cable if you can afford it. Uh, cable TV can also be a babysitter, it can be your gym membership, and it can be your entertainment. Cable is important to a lot of people. So let's say that you have a cable bill of $200, all right, and but you're not using all of the channels, so you call your cable company and you do some negotiations, ask them if they have any special rates, tell them that you're, dis you're thinking about possibly canceling the cable and internet in order to save some money they're gonna send you to a retention department that's where I used to work and they're gonna throw some deals at you and let's say that you take your bill from $200 down to $150 a month you just saved yourself $50 by making a simple 15 minute phone call but you didn't just save $50 you saved it over the course of a year so you just saved yourself $600 by making a 15 minute phone call $600 in a year. It doesn't seem like much, but this stack is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So let's say you've got medical costs, right? And you decide that you're gonna shop around for your insurance. So let's say conservatively that you have a, conservatively, this is not for everyone, that you have a $300 a month medical insurance bill and you require uh, one prescription that costs $100 per month. So that brings it up to 400. So you decide you're gonna start shopping around for medical insurance uh, and you're able to save yourself $100 a month. All right, uh, that's $100 a month for the medical insurance. And then you find out that your prescription, it, you can get it for free using your new medical, medical uh, insurance, all right? And you just saved yourself $200 a month by making a phone call. Simple negotiations, $200 a month, that adds up to $2,400. Hold on. That's a huge stack of money right there. $2,400 by making a phone call. 
And most people don't think that they can make these simple negotiation phone calls in order to save this kind of money over the course of a year. $20 a month for a phone call, no, it's not worth my time. I'm not gonna deal with that. Um, I, I don't, you know, I like my service the way that it is, but have you called to see if that's something that maybe you can do without, maybe you can do without the HBO, now that Game of Thrones is over. Maybe you can do without the stars of the, show, the Showtime. And you can get yourself a big old stack of money just like this in one year. This takes one hour of your time by making phone calls and doing price comparisons. Let's see how much we saved. All right, folks, so I added it up. Uh, I might have counted it wrong, but I counted $7,600 just by making some phone calls, making some very, very minor adjustments to your monthly bills. And people think, no, I like going shopping. No, um, I like my t I, buying my t-shirts. I like rewarding myself. Well, this is what delayed gratification gets people. Okay, this is, this is what it's all about, folks. People who say they don't have any money and they're not willing to make a phone call to their cable company, their cell company, their auto insurance company, they're not willing to shop around because it's too much of a hassle. Is it too much of a hassle to save $7,600 a year by making small adjustments? Personally, I don't think so. I think that $7,600 a year is well worth it to spend an hour of your time doing some price comparison and calling your companies and doing some negotiation. I hope that this has helped. Obviously, this is not real money, as you can see, but it has more of an impact using money that looks real as opposed to using monopoly money or using, you know, um, coins. Pennies add up to dollars, dollars add up to hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars add up to thousands of dollars. What would you do with $7,600 a year? Could you put it in a savings account that earned you money? That's definitely what I would be doing. I hope that this has helped. I think this is a very important video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.